2023 Subaru Crosstrek Review. What's new? Special Edition features a unique color, black and red upholstery and dark exterior trim. Part of the second Crosstrek generation introduced for 2018. The time would appear ideal for the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek to usher in a new generation of the hardy subcompact SUV as the present generation made its debut approximately five years ago. Every four to six years, automakers like to switch things up, albeit the level of change can range from minor styling improvements to extensive interior, exterior, and mechanical upgrades. The Crosstrex Driving Style When accelerating onto the freeway with the standard powertrain, the Crosstrek may appear excruciatingly slow. However, the 182 HP 2.5 liter engine reduces the time needed to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour by almost 2 seconds, lowering it to a respectable 8.4 seconds. You have a very competitive extra small SUV when you combine it with communicative handling and above average off-road capability. But handling falls short of expectations. The Crosstrek's hard tires have just fair pavement traction, and its high ride height causes considerable body roll when turning. The majority of rival SUVs provide a sportier on-road driving experience. However, handling falls short. Hard tires on the Crosstrek offer just fair pavement traction, and the vehicle's high ride height causes visible body roll when turning. The majority of competitors' SUVs provide a more engaging on-road driving experience. Exactly how cozy is the Crosstrek? The Crosstrek is simple to use on lengthy excursions thanks to its quiet and comfortable ride. Additionally, the 2.5-liter engine, which is an option, makes the cabin less noisy. When you bury the throttle to perform a passing maneuver, there is still a slight grumble, but it is a little more pleasant than the wheezy audio of the normal 2.0-liter engine. Even though they are a little on the firm side, the front and back seats are comfy for exceptionally lengthy road journeys. However, if you find yourself on a winding road, you'll quickly notice that the front seats could use a little more support. The climate control system is simple to use and has a number of large, clearly visible dials, but some of the vents are placed in awkward places. How is the inside? The Crosstrex cabin is very nicely designed and quite useful. The high-resolution screens have large fonts and simple menu structures. Compared to its sibling, the Impreza, the Crosstrek has a raised ride height, which facilitates simple entry and exit and provides good vision. The tilt and telescoping steering wheel allows for a lot of flexibility, and the driving position is also good. Both the front and back seats have plenty of space, and the Crosstrek has one of the roomiest cabins in its class. The back seat will be the only area that is slightly constrained, but only for taller passengers. How is the tech? For tech-savvy users, the Crosstrek provides a straightforward entry point thanks to standard amenities like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 
The main screen's crispness is enticing, and voice commands make it easy to change settings like the radio station with just a few minor grammatical changes. The 8-speaker Harman Kardon stereo is an upgrade from the stock system and provides more loudness and better audio quality, limited trim only. The navigation screen is simple to read and comprehend. The Lane Keeping Assist system in the Crosstrek intervenes rather frequently, but not to the point where it is too zealous or unpleasant. The storage situation? Storage space inside is a little less than average. When the back seats are folded down, there are 55 cubic feet of storage space behind them, or 20.8 cubic feet. You'll need to think outside the box while keeping your personal items because there isn't much room for little objects. The huge door openings and high top make it very simple to install child seats. How well does it use fuel? The 2.5 liter engine delivers an EPA estimated 29 mpg combined, 27 city slash 34 highway, in the Crosstrek, which is only offered with the CVT. That's fairly decent for a small crossover SUV that is suitable for off-roading. However, the actual fuel efficiency is not as impressive. Our Crosstrek Limited achieved 27.5 mpg on the 115 miles of its predominantly highway evaluation route. Thanks to its enormous 16-gallon gasoline tank, which is 20%, 30% more than most competitors, it does have a lengthy range. Is the Crosstrek a good value? Subaru offers a good number of features for what you pay. Our test car had solid build quality. There are lots of nice soft touch surfaces on the inside of the Crosstrek, especially at the top limited trim level. A top trim Mazda CX-30 is nicer still, but overall the Crosstrek easily justifies its cost. Subaru's 3-year slash 36.000 mile warranty is average for the class, but it covers items such as wiper blades and brake pads that's rare and appreciated. The Crosstrek excels in this area. Only one or two cars in this class can travel as far from the usual route as the Crosstrek, especially when you take into account the features that are offered and the affordable pricing. With a little of its own flash, style, and eventually enough power, it serves as a portal to the outdoors. The sport trim is where most drivers should start. It has a much better 2.5 liter engine that considerably enhances the driving experience and adds features like heated front seats, simulated leather upholstery, and distinctive appearance. A subcompact hatchback slash SUV, the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek is available in five trim levels, base, premium, special edition, sport, limited, and hybrid. All-wheel drive is a standard feature on every Crosstrek. The base and premium trim levels both come with a 6-speed manual transmission. The continuously variable automatic transmission is standard on all others, or CVT.